Hello and welcome back to JoeSchaferFlyFishing.com. I'm Joe Schaefer. Today I'm going to show you how I set up a streamer underneath an indicator rig. Um, this is a very easy, very simple um, way to set this up. And I'll show you how I do it for clients and even in my own fishing. Really like to fish this system on bigger rivers. Um, rivers that have deep runs in them, things like that. Um, this is great for that application. Um, I run streamers about 60 to 90% of the time underneath an indicator. So uh, I do this quite often. So this is my setup here. We come to the end of our fly line. We'll take our nine and a half foot leader or seven and a half foot leader, whatever you preference. Bigger rivers, I'm using that longer leader. Um, smaller rivers, of course, I'm going to use that seven and a half footer, but I've cut this one way down so you, I can show you here a little bit easier. So we're going to use that loop to loop connection. I put the loop of the leader over the fly line loop, come back to the end, and I put that line through. Okay, and just pull it through, and that's my loop to loop connection. Real simple and easy. Okay, next thing is, is indicators. Um, <clears throat> for this application, I go away from, I'm my biggest fan, I'm the biggest fan of yarn indicators, but, and you can look those up on, uh, other parts of the YouTube channel or the website. I have those on there as well, but, uh, this is a airlock indicator. These are fairly new, but, uh, very good indicators. Um, basically you just twist off this end cap, slide your line right into that groove. And then we just put that cap back on the top and that secures it pretty good. doesn't typically slide a lot and it doesn't kink your leader as much. Um, really like those indicators, especially when we're running bigger, heavier streamers on your line and things like that. Keeps it real buoyant um, for swinging purposes and different things like that. Whereas if you used yarn, you wouldn't be able to do that. Your yarn would get drowned and you'd have troubles reading hits and things like that. So use a more buoyant indicator like the airlock. <clears throat> Next up, we're going to come down below to um, our leader to tippet connection. Usually about 24 inches of tippet off the end of that leader. Um, I'm going to do a quick surgeon's knot here. Push those thumbs together. Make a loop. And then put those tag ends through a couple, three times. I, especially when I'm doing uh, streamers on the end. Um, I'll go through three times just to make sure that knot's good and secure. Pull that tight. Make sure we clip those tag ends off. Uh, you don't want to leave those tag ends on there. So we clip those tag ends. Mainly, I start off with 3X, 3X leader, 3X tippet on this system. That's pretty much all I'll use when I'm running a streamer underneath it. Um, you can always go down and tip it on the flies below. But uh, I pretty much start off with 3X. You can get away with 4X, but you will lose some fish on that because of the way they pound these things, especially when you're fishing them. So um, I typically stick with 3X and 2X. 3x being my favorite now i could put a uh, weight here above the knot if i want to add more weight if i'm fishing real heavy water or trying to get down really deep so i could put it there i'm going to show you where i'm going to put this streamer this is a ella's beast one of my flies and it's specifically designed for fishing under indicators it's been a, one of my top catchers for years um, it's just a great fly for this application and it works really well swinging and getting down deep under these indicators. So, um, Ella's Beast here, we're going to tie that in at the attractor position um, towards closest to the indicator. This is, this is the way I fish it when I want to keep it more up in the water column a little bit more. Of course, I can sink this down deep. But when I'm fishing this... Um, I typically swinging it in this position and things like that and keeping it up in the water column a little bit more to get fish to chase it. So I just go through the top of the eyelet and I tie in with a Duncan loop here in that attractor position. 
Okay, same thing here. Make sure you clip those tag ends. All right, so there you see. So I can put a weight up here, and if I don't want to add weight to that, these are pretty heavy with the tungsten bead on them, so a lot of times I don't need it. But uh, if I do need to add weight, I'll add weight up here above the surgeon's knot. Okay, so that's in the attractor position. Then behind that, I can run one or two flies behind that, depending on your state or wherever you're at. Make sure you know the regulations, how many flies you can run in a row. In Colorado, we can run three in tandem. So a lot of times, I'll run two or three behind this. And all I do is make a dropper loop here. I just fold the line over, make a loop with that tag end, just like this here. Okay. Okay. Then I put that tag in through, up and through and around that parent line. And I'll do that four or five times. Nice part about this knot is I can change the size of the knot if I need to, but four or five times is standard on that. Pull it tight. That gives me my loop that I can put on the end of my fly right here. and pull it tight clip that tag end out and i'm ready for my next fly so off of that uh yeah i know i can put another uh streamer behind that another lsb sometimes a little bit smaller sometimes i might go bigger i can put pine squirrel leeches i can put whatever streamer i want behind that if i want to a lot of times what i'll do is just run like a san juan worm behind it or a or a uh, midge setup or something that um, matches what's going on in the water. I can put mayflies behind it, anything like that, and we'll get that going. I'm gonna feed this through the eye here and just attach that. And the second fly, I kind of tend to go with something a little bit bigger so your bigger mayflies maybe a stonefly maybe a pat's rubber legs things like that behind this um, a second streamer is always a good option and then um, once we get that tied on we got the clip the tag end and then i'll add a lot of times the three flies so here we got our streamer behind it we got a little um worm imitation this is a reform also for sale on the website um and then at the back of that i'm gonna add one more fly here and a lot of times that fly is my natural imitation so um if there's say there's midges hatching or mayflies hatching or something like that going on i'll match that bug specifically that last that third bug to what's going on in the water at that time um, as far as hatch wise make another loop just attach it to the end cinch it down clip the tag okay and then we'll come back to in this case i just put a midge on here matching the naturals that we see in the water and this is always a great way to set up in any of our waters across the west um, I use this standard setup quite often and when I'm fishing this fish it just like an indicator with our normal indicator rig up at the top and then a lot of times I'll be swinging or stripping at the end of drifts to incorporate that uh, streamer into the action too so you can get a lot of action on one setup here so here we go we got all three flies set up okay just in review leader to tippet connection or i'm sorry leader to fly line connection up here leader to fly line connection down to where we put our indicator on okay the airlock indicator there then we come down to our surgeon's knot where we can place line above that if we want to add extra weight and then our streamer and then our two flies behind our worm and our midge pattern right there
Okay, that's the standard setup that I do with putting a streamer on. Uh, one option to that, and I'll show you real quick, is just reversing this setup. So I'll move the streamer, instead of having it in the tractor position, I'll just come down below it here, switch this around, And what I'll do is I'll put the midge, cut that off, put the midge up top, okay? I'll put the midge at the very top or the um, hatching bug in the system up at the top. It could be mayfly, it could be midge, it could be anything here. I'll put that up at the top. And move the indicator to the bottom sorry here my lighting isn't the greatest to get that through working with it here so we're gonna move the midge to the attractor position we're gonna tie that in with whatever knot you use here um, I'm just showing you Duncan loops because that's usually what I'm using to tie is the Duncan loop tighten that down so I'll move that to the attractor position and I'll move the streamer now to the bottom fly so we can come to this middle fly here and we can just move that streamer to the bottom feed that through Make our knot right at the end. And the reason being that I'll put the streamer at the bottom of this is now with this application, I really want to get these flies to the bottom. And especially in deeper holes of runs or fantails of a big deep run, things like that, where I want it to get all the way to the bottom. This is the way to fish it, is put that weight at the very bottom and get those flies down. So I'll come to the back of this, clip that tag end off from the back. This is just the way I set it up so I can switch them around pretty quick. Make my dropper loop here again. Put that tag end through. And this is a pretty easy way to switch your rig around real fast. I'm doing, trying to do it slow here to make sure that you guys can see it real well. But I will make that dropper loop again. Come to the back of that midge or mayfly or whatever you may have on there. Put it on the hook. Pull tight. Clip my tie again. And now I've completely flipped that rig. To where now my streamer is going to be sitting on the bottom my upper two flies my lighter flies are going to be sitting further up in the water column it's going to be holding them down towards the bottom i can also with this rig put weight up top and really sink that whole rig down into the bottom of the run and really get that um, streamer down to the bottom so this is typically how i run a streamer underneath an indicator um Showed you a couple different setups there. Hope you enjoyed. Please check back in with us. We've got a lot of stuff coming up that I'll be showing you. Take care. Please subscribe. Have a great day. Check out the website, joeschaferflyfishing.com. You can check out all these flies on there. They're for sale. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.